So in Maya 2023, there is now what's called the blue pencil, which is replacing the grease pencil. It's the same kind of icon in the same place. It's this little button here. If you have show new features on, it'll have this green little bracket around it. Once you click that, it'll open up a new docked menu, which you can undock by clicking and dragging here, or you can put back kind of difficultly. <laughs> it's Oh boy. So I recommend don't undock it because it's a bit finicky. So what we have are basically the pencil, then we have a brush, which is a softer edge. Then we have the eraser, which goes through both of those. Then we have the text tool, which is really cool. That's brand new. So is the line, the arrow, circle, square, and then what's really cool is this transform mode, which is new as well. You can select a region, press enter, then you can just left click and move that chunk around. So what this is gonna be useful for is if you wanna duplicate the last frame, and that's this icon here, duplicate last frame, and then you could easily move things around that you wanted to save from the previous drawing and not have to redraw exactly as it was and then hit enter again and then we save that move we could of course do just little chunks of that hit enter if you don't hit enter it'll just get rid of your selection i have to hit enter to end that so if i try to start moving it'll just draw the box again so that's really cool then we have of course uh changing the color which is nice and then we have ghosting which is really cool if you right click these options you can choose whether or not you have pre-frames uh, how many pre-frames or post frames in the ghosting you can also adjust the color which is really cool so we can enable override as well and change the color and what i found was cool about this color slider is typically when you drag a color slider down to black and then you try to bring it back up it returns to, it thinks it's in a black to white scale, but it actually kept the color information even though we went all the way down to black, which was kind of interesting. I hadn't seen that before in a color slider, especially inside of Maya. Then we can move the, uh, retime the actual frames. Now the one goofy thing with this is the fact that I would expect the frame I'm on to be moved and that's not the case. It's going to insert a frame after what you want to retime. So I have to go to the frame before and then start clicking that for it to kind of insert empty frames is how I think about it. And then of course we have all the kind of typical add a frame, delete a frame. Uh, this will clear the frame. So it'll it'll keep the grease pencil, I gotta say blue pencil now. <laughs> it'll keep the blue pencil frame. So if you look down here, we have this blue tick on frame six. So I can just clear the frame, but it'll keep that blue pencil kind of uh, hold there uh, on the frame. And of course, we can also go to right click where this used to say grease pencil and we have access to all of these similar um, options here. So what I typically use this for is to delete all frames, which is I'm, I'm not seeing that now. Typically I use that right menu to delete all frames, but apparently they don't have that for this, so I wonder if I shift select, if now I can delete, and that that's how you would delete it. It looks like there's maybe some ghosting artifact here that it's stuck on, so maybe it's still a little buggy, but it got rid of it as soon as I kind of updated the viewport by scrubbing the timeline. So the rest of these tools are pretty self-explanatory. What's really cool is you can actually export the frames. So if you have a mentor, someone like me that is drawing over your scene and you know you send them scene and you don't want to send the scene all the way back you could just only send the drawings and the student could import them into their scene for the annotations so that's the updates to the grease pencil now called the blue pencil if you want to learn more from me check out digitalcreatorschool.com where i teach entire courses in maya as well as i've started a new mentorship program called animators journey check that out. There's also animatorsjourney.com. If you want to learn about getting into the animation industry as an animator or just in general curious about it, I wrote a book called Break Into the Animation Industry. You can check out at ebook.digitalcreatorschool.com. Thanks.